Hello YouTubers, I am back. Right now I am on summer break, but I'm on summer break early because I finished my final last week on the 4th of May. Finished all of my finals. So, I'm supposed to do this on Mother's Day, but got distracted. But today, I will be teaching y'all how to make paper, road, rubbishes. To give you an idea, I have pictures of what they look like. See, they kind of look like this. And I learned from watching the steps, and this is what I did for um, Valentine's Day so I thought it'd be good to teach somebody else how to do just in case you know want to give y'all want to give somebody who y'all love a gift so it had to be specifically Mother's Day it could be Mother's Day it could be Valentine's Day it could be Christmas or you could just make one for fun I thought it'd be a good gift idea so first I'm gonna do a rundown of the materials that you need you need some colorful construction paper or colorful copy paper or copy paper. See, I got blue and I got pink. Make at least two of these. And I got some scissors. I got a pencil. You can use a pencil or a pen or a color pencil. Pencil does have to be mechanical, but I just like using mechanical pencil. So, and then glue. Um, this glue is preferred with the best, but you don't have to use this exact brand. Just as long as you have some school glue in the bottle like this, you're good. Um, you can find these at the dollar store or like Family Dollar. Walmart, Walgreens, you can probably find this stuff anywhere near the um school supply aisle, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, now we're going to making paper roses and I'll show y'all what they look like so y'all can have an idea of how it's supposed to look. So first thing you do is you get your scissors. And you cut off a square. Now, the square does not have to be perfect. Because mine's not perfect neither. It's not based off perfection. You take your pencil. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a swirl like so on the square paper and your swirl should look somewhat like this to give you an idea of what it's what it's supposed to look like I wanted y'all to see me do it on the paper then you take your scissors and what you do is what you drew you just you cut around what you drew you cut around the line that you drew or you can cut on the line that you drew and you keep cutting from there like so this is gonna help make the rows And you do not get rid of the excess yet. You keep the excess because that's going to be important. But you want to keep cutting, cutting it like how you outlined it because it's going to be important for shaping the rows. Ok, 
okay you see it's cut up like this it should be somewhat like this okay this bottom and the reason why the bottom like this is because it's going to be important when we roll the paper up and roll it into a rose so that's going to be important so what you do is hold on you take your pieces like so and you can cut off this part okay because that ain't nothing but access it's not needed and what you do is you take the end that you have and you just you just roll it from there if you want to cut the little excess part like that you can it's not gonna hurt it it's not gonna damage it you know you're just getting rid of excess and you basically roll it you roll it and you keep on rolling it see just roll the rest of it I know it may not look like a rose right now but you'll see how at the end but uh, what you basically do is you roll from the end until you get to this part which is where your rose is going to be okay you you hold the roll up part. This is where the glue comes in. That's important. I told y'all about. And you take the glue. I don't let me make sure that it's open. Okay. Okay. No, it was open. Okay. I'm gonna get the glue in it. But you take the glue. You see how it's coming out? Take the glue, like so, and then you rub the glue around. You rub the glue around. Make sure it gets everywhere. So that way when you lay your rolled up rose down, it'll have something to lay on because that's going to be important okay now you take the rolled up rose right and you lay it on this part where it's glued and then you let it go let it go make sure that this part right here this one yeah make sure that it has glue on it and make sure it touches the glue part so it won't break apart and then other than that from there you basically let it go and voila you have yourself a paper rose now it's not the neatest rose because sometimes the roses they ain't gonna come out neat and that's okay but now y'all see why the point of it is why it's called a paper rose because when you unravel it it looks a lot like a like a rose i pushed the inside for a little more you can push like the inside part if you want it to lay down a little more because that's what i I'm going to do. I'm going to push that down. Okay. I'm going to push I'm going to push that down. Or like if you want to put some more glue on it, you can. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom in on that so y'all can see see the part I'm holding. I'm taking the glue gradually and gradually putting it on the end. You don't want to put too much. You just want to put enough so you know if you want to lay it down you can you can lay it down a 
Okay. And voila, you you basically got yourself a, a paper rose. You see? You see how the how, you see how it's a rose cuz it comes off as like a rose. On the outside, it doesn't look like it, but if I turn it over and the inside, it almost looks like it's a little rose. That's what you want it to look like. You want it to look like that. So this is a blue one. And I'm going to demonstrate it one more time. And then we're going to do the final bottom. Now, you don't have to have a bottom for your paper rose. I just feel like it would be better to have a bottom so that way like if you want to write little messages or write to and from you can you can do that and you can write you can write on it so I'm finna make another finna make another rose and then I will be right back and I'll show y'all the final finished product and then maybe I'll give y'all some instructions on how to do it again one more time so you can know but we'll do that once I get back okay I am back and I have finished the roses ta-da I finished I even put the little bottoms um not for the bottoms you just glue the bottom part you just glue you just put glue on the bottom part and then put it on the paper and then just cut it out into a square like I said it doesn't have to be perfect because mine's not perfect at all but these are the roses and that's so cute too see you can write your little if you have room to write your little messages your to and from or if you just want to draw on them you can that's what the bottom is for that's what I said I'd advise the bo a bottom I think that'll be really cool I'm gonna show y'all how to make this one more time okay now I'm gonna see if I can do one pink one okay first time we cut a square doesn't have to be a perfect square don't have to stress and worry about it being perfect squares okay pencil finish show y'all one more time so here's the swirl okay you just draw your swirls however you like the swirl doesn't have to be perfect. The swirl just has to be there. It's used as a guide so that you know where you're cutting. Like so. Boom. And then you just cut where you drew your swirls at. Okay. Like so, like I said, you could stay in the pencil line or outside the pencil line. It's really not going to make a difference. Okay. For me, I'm just cutting. Because the point of doing this is so... That way, when you cut it, you will have like a little swirl. So that way you can roll it up. Which is why they call it roll up paper roses that's one now we gotta do the other one you gonna cut up the other one okay and we're gonna keep going Okay. You're gonna try to see if I can combine and mix them. I think that'll be cool. 
and then like I said and then you stop now make sure when you're cutting it right here where I'm holding the things that I'm holding that you leave space there because you're gonna need the space to put the glue down so you can put your roll up roses right there okay now we're gonna start with the blue one we're gonna roll the blue one up gonna roll up we're gonna roll it up real nice real pretty gonna roll it up gonna roll this up let's see I'm gonna roll it up let me see I'm going to roll this up and stop now we're gonna try to see if this works we're going to take this piece. First, you're going to cut off a little part of it. Also, if the background is noisy, please excuse that. Okay. You don't have to. You don't have to cut up that part. I just would prefer to. So, now attach it. Attach it like this. I'm going to see if this is going to work. And then you're going to roll it up. two bottoms see now you have to hold it you have to hold it because if you don't hold it it's not it's gonna fall apart and then you're gonna have to start over so I'm gonna put the glue on the pink part hold on I'm not really a strong glue with my left hand Okay. So I'm gonna put that right there. See, like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it back down, and then we're just gonna Okay, so I'm gonna take this and put it on here. Oof. All right, I'm gonna put it on there and then we're gonna let it unravel, okay. I'm gonna let this unravel. That way it can be a pretty rose. Hold on. Okay. Maybe not the prettiest mixed rose. But I like it because it's different. See, you got pink at the bottom and you got blue. I actually like this rose. It's different. Now, it may be a little wacky, but it's, it's different. It's a really nice and different rose. I would advise this if you want to create a fun, crazy, different, wacky rose. But other than that, you stick to these okay but that is it okay 
if you do it with two colors this is how it's gonna look it's gonna look probably a little wonky but that's okay and then this is it by itself probably gonna go to the bottom for this one where are you going there for? probably doing something on people's home we are gonna cut a square and then I'm gonna put some glue some glue on it. And then gonna put it right there. Right there. You got yourself a fun recce rose. For this one, it's different and it's wacky and it's like it's coming out and I feel like it's very cool and different. Um, you don't have to glue this top part, leave it the way it is. And like I said, you can write to, from, and still write a message. So, yeah, that is it. And that is all for this Paper Rose DIY. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope y'all had a happy Mother's Day. And hope y'all have a great day. And until next time, YouTubers, I'll see you later. Bye.